Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a quick review on an application called Take Action. Now what I've done is I've downloaded Take Action. It was free on the App Store and is currently free until the 1st of November, which is Tuesday. You should get this on Monday, so this should still be free for a, a whole day, which is great with a 100% discount. Um, normally it's $7.99 on the UK App Store, which makes it about $9.99 and $9.99 in Europe. So that's quite expensive for an application and that's one of the reasons I wanted to test it and show you some of the features. So as you can see here, the that I've downloaded it, I've got started and sort of put in some test uh, examples. But what the old goal is, you see this little white ball, all you have to do is you have to move that white ball to the top of the hill. And as you can see, I've already started on this. Um, what you do is you simply add in tasks and activities to do um, just by hitting that plus button. And you can actually add a lot of context in advanced. Uh, so you can add all sorts of duration, priority, notifications and information like that. Very similar to all of those task management apps like out there already. You can assign the day that you want to do those specific things on. So if it's, you know, things that will span over multiple days, that's really beneficial. You can do that. And you can even associate it to a goal, uh, which is quite cool. And they appear in month view. So as you can see here, this is for one week. So I've got to get the ball to the top of the hill. It gives me a progress chart at the top, which is quite nice. I'm eight percent there and as you can see I have completed the Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday ones and all you do to complete a task is once you open it up it sections it by day uh, so if you so associate them to days which is quite cool you just simply tick them off and as you can see I've got a full week complete the ball is at the top of the hill now if I pull out and go into month view you can actually see that I need four of these to hit my month goal up here, you can actually see that test. This test here is a full goal that I need to complete, uh, and it's more of a holistical overview. So what's interesting about this app is you can actually shake it and you can set a monthly description. Now, this is quite nice because if you're thinking about making a big target for the month, you can actually see yourself planning that out. And it's also a good way because what you can do is when you flip back into that view, um, you can actually start adding tasks to the next week uh, which is quite cool. Uh, I quite like that ability, but you can also preset them on the Monday or Tuesday or whenever you like across the week. You can also go into quarter view. This is locked because you have to have one month complete to view quarter view. But if you want to go and view the next couple of months, you can actually do so. Uh, you can see uh, whether that goal is continuing. The way you set goals is hitting the like three tab button once you created one and once you go into one you can actually once you go into one you can actually get asked several questions that sort of help you define your goal and actually gives you sub goals and helps you associate actions with those i haven't tried this out fully but i can imagine that it works quite well um i'm not too sure how this plays into the action sort of side but associating your tasks to goals can help you with uh, sort of getting them and being more focused towards uh, achieving them. So as you can see, the aim is obviously to get this ball to the top of the month hill and same with quarter, once you get there, you can actually access all of that. Now this does, might sound confusing in a demo, so when you swipe to the right uh, or left, uh, you can actually see a quick tool which is quite useful and it gives you a quick presentation of how they work. One thing I like about this is if you actually want to set one and you go into here, so for example test, you can actually give it a specific time. So if I did for Sunday, tomorrow at then, and I go down uh, to Sunday, you can actually see it gives you a time. So you can actually chronologically associate your tasks there, which is quite cool. As you can see, it's also updated that. So once you add tasks, it, it brings and correlates them to the percentage that you've completed all of the actions for the week, which is quite nice because obviously you can always be aiming to complete that main goal at the end of the week. Anyway guys, this was just a quick review. I'm gonna include all the links in the description if you want to download Task Action, you can. The reason I did this so fast is based on that it's free at the moment. I don't want you to spend $7.99 necessarily. I think this app should be priced about $2.99. Well designed, well thought out. I like the holistical view of it, but it still doesn't warrant, I don't think, uh, the full price. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I'm gonna include all the links in the description and uh, I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much. Make sure to keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.